Welcome back, Coasties. In this adventure, Jake and I go down the chute of doom. Whoa! Woo! Narrowly escaped catastrophe. Gosh! Got right for the tree! Witness multiple hookups. <laughs> While I get overly excited about every bobber down. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. oh. We hatch a plan in Big Dave's backyard. We're gonna go steal some of Big Dave's fish. So join us on this adventure down river and check out this beaver. All right. <laughs> you cut. I told you. Oh. Told you exactly what he was gonna do. Wow. Alrighty guys, so we're getting the rods ready before we take off on the river here in a sec. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be fishing some beads, some worms, some jigs, and some spawn sacks. I tie these up myself. Those are steelhead eggs that I caught. Put them in a mesh netting so it kind of helps keep them together. Just put a hook barely through it, just like that. Steelhead can't resist. Okay, folks, we're in the super secret spot and Jake's pretty sure there's a fish in here. There should be. So super secret spot. Shh. Okay, Jake, catch it. Take two. Nobody home, huh? It's too cold, that's what it is. That's what it was. That's what it is. It's too cold. I'm colder. Yeah. I don't want to bite. Are we fishing this? Yeah, you go first, okay? I need fish footage. People actually catching fish. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Warrior buck. Warrior buck. Nice job, buddy. Persuading him. Yeah. Very lightly. I'm raising my rod up. I'm not just lifting straight up in the air like a lot of people do right here. I bring my rod up. So why don't you want a high stick? That's how you break rods. Okay. Oh no! Is that the shoot of you? Oh yes! Oh shit! Shot him in the wall! That's pretty. Well, we survived, Jake. Yeah. Nice job. That was a close one, folks. This is where all the big steelhead come to hang out. There's a fish down here. <laughs> Your camera suck. All right, I got it. Is it actually filled? Yeah. Oh, I did it. Thanks, Jake. <laughs> Whoa. That's a lazy one. Yeah, so this looks like a fish that's already spawned. And she's on her way back out to the ocean, which is fine. They're fun. You can't keep her? Uh, it's not worthwhile keeping. She, all of her nutrients are spent. Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. So that's these really fish important. will spawn. <clears throat> yeah, it's really important. These fish will spawn, and then they'll head back out to the ocean. You're going to lose your fish. Can you do two at the time? <laughs> now you're, it's already going. All right, now. Oh, yes. I'm on one, guys. It looks like a uh, it looks like a kelp, what we call them. So this fish is spawned. She's gonna head back out to the ocean. Let's see her right there. She's tired. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll just unhook her. It's a wild hen. You want me to That's fun. I'll get her. Once I can get a moment, I'll get my pliers out. All right. Come back. here, baby. Uncle Jake's gonna take care of you. Take you cool. We did it, folks. I caught one. 
All right. Swing that. And what kind of, what is this again? So this is a steelhead. She's spawned already. So you'll find these in the late season. So she's already spawned. Left. Get her on her way and she'll head back out to the ocean actually. She'll head back out to the ocean. And what, come back make more babies? Yeah, next year. Hopefully yeah. if she survives her whole journey. <laughs> well, now she's awake. <laughs> Away she goes. Well, look at that. That was magical. You did it. Number steelhead number two for you. Got a classic. So depending on the day and where the fish are sitting, sometimes you find them in the heads of the holes. Sometimes you find them right in the middle, and sometimes you find them in the tail out. So it all depends on if those fish are moving, if they're hanging out and staged up, or if they're hanging out in the back end of the hole being lazy. Oh my gosh! Oh, don't get down the chute, please. This is gonna be bad if it does go down the chute. What's happening, Jake? I got a fish! Oh my gosh, I thought it was the bottom. It's a cromer. Look at that, it's a hatchery cromer. Mm. That's, that's eating right there. That's the best table fare there is. Whoa, he's gorgeous. Want to hand line him in? Bring him to me. <laughs> I might just shake him off. No, I want to keep him. That's Coasty Kitchen. We'll find a better one. I've been saying that all morning. He's going to cut out like, oh, geez, look at his mouth. Oh, he's gorgeous. <laughs> Can we at least bring him on the boat for a picture? <laughs> Please? Come on. Come, Jake. I want a picture of that fish. It'll make me look like a real, like a real fisherman. You're trying to lose him, are you? That's what you're doing. <laughs> trying to shake him off. Come on, let me get a picture with him. We'll find better ones. Wow, look at his face. I can't see him because you're about to let him go. I'd like to look at his face. Oh, he's a little gnarly. <laughs> Never mind, I don't want a picture of him. <laughs> nice job. I told you. <laughs> so what's what's wrong with the darker fish? So as fish come in the river, they use their nutrients to go to their sexual organs. And it's like their own Viagra stash? Uh, it's like their own building up their uh, their sexual organs. They don't come in ready to spawn. Oh. So they use their nutrients from their bodies to... Get horny? Yeah, we'll go with that. That's disgusting. <laughs> they burn fat up so they can get laid. Huh. I similar, you know, that. similar to us. Okay. Yeah. So those aren't very good eating fish. No, when they start getting colored up like that and have used up their their fat stores and nutrients, they really aren't that great to eat. Those are ones that are good just to let go and do their thing. Good to know. Oh! oh. Cromer! Oh my gosh! Got it right for the tree! <laughs> no. <laughs> Perfect! We survived! Tree of doom. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what you should do in a situation like that is just walk your boat down. That's no fun. <laughs> Bring a chainsaw next time. We just have a guy right here with a chainsaw. <laughs> well, Jake, you have any interesting stories of this stretch of river? No. Nothing? No. Who who lives up here? Uh, Sam Squatch. No, well, not that guy. He's Dave. big. Oh, man. Big yeah. Dave. Big Dave. Big Dave man. He's not so big anymore. He's lost a lot of weight. I saw him at the sportsman show. He looks good. Dave, you look fabulous. You look good. Looking good, Dave. 
Nice guy. Talk to him once. What's his autograph? He gave it to me. Oh, bummer. Loser. <laughs> Like that one. There's a nice pretty one. Can you turn the heater on? Great. The bites kind of cool off, so we came up with a great idea. We're gonna go steal some of Big Dave's fish. Right? Right. That's fine. We're gonna go incognito. <laughs> Alright, we made it. Fishing. Dave's backyard. We're gonna steal one of his steelheads. <laughs> That's a good idea, Jake. Oh, don't let Big Dave know. Oh no. It's a big cutty. What were we thinking? Big Dave caught all the steelhead already out of there. Duh. Duh Woo! Do I need at, to hit the anything no. else? At the end of the trip pretty much, Jake counted it down. I gotta get the net ready. I know. That's it looks like a keeper too. Give me the camera. Uh, here, let's just do this so you don't lose this fish. I want you to focus on this. This is going to keep her. There we go. At the end of the drift. Real. Incredibly hard to do one-handed. YouTube video and steelhead, very hard to do. Underneath the boat again. <laughs> so, unfortunately, this fish has already spawned. Oh, that's okay. I'm just glad you got it. We caught one, bud. Nice, nice job. job. Holy moly! Sorry for the shoddy camera work, but. Just fighting a steelhead and trying to hold a camera at the same time. Incredibly difficult, but we got her. One more cast. Oh. Okay. Alright, we're really leaving now. It's cold and windy. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We caught some fish. Book a trip. Jake Bickelite taking the scenery of whatever river he's fishing. Have a good time on this blue, blue raft of joy. Or the that, drift boat. There's another boat. Or the drift boat or too. The sled. But the sled's fun. That's got a lot of room. Um, there's a here's a red for you. Steal that red. Okay, we'll end it. We'll end it on that. Yeah. Where? Go over it. Right there, look at that. There. Oh there's a steelhead red. That's where they lay. Bullseye. That's where they make babies. And there's, there's a, a little mini red. one. That's a test red. Test red. Yeah, it's a test red. Right didn't like that, huh? Nope. No, nope, didn't like it. All right. We're here back at the boat ramp. We made it through the chute of doom. Made it through the shoot of doom six times. We One took out a tree. Stops. Well, I took out a tree and then Jake took out the rest of the tree. And we caught a bunch of boots. <laughs> we had a great time. And a hatchery. We had some fit or hens, right? Yeah. Caught a bunch of hens. We caught a ton of fish today. Super fun. Okay. Bye. Thanks for watching. Book a trip. Bye. Is that a bite? Or, well, come on, what is that? Damn it. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> oh, that's going on the reel. Yes. YouTube gold right there, Jake. You want me to edit that out, Jake? No. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be immortalized on YouTube. <laughs>
fish on. <laughs> First cast. Pencil on it. I'm trying to be gentle there as I'm reeling right now. Um, bait for our upcoming springer season, but it's a nice, beautiful, bright fish. I'm going to give this back to Grant so I can fight my fish. Oh, no. Woo. Dang. 